Nine. This was the third flight and the first night launch of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Tucked inside a virtual warehouse full of satellites, 24 in all for the U.S. military, the U.S. space agency, NASA, and private institutions. One of the tiniest hitchhiking a ride to orbit is called a CubeSat. It's no bigger than a loaf of bread, but it could revolutionize space travel. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What you are seeing is the Itsy Bitsy satellite during testing in California, unfurling a 32 square meter solar sail made from reflective mylar. The brainchild of the nonprofit planetary society that promotes space exploration, the satellite, funded by donations, is called. Light Sail 2. It is called Light Sail because that's exactly what it does. It sails on sunlight. About two weeks from now, in a 720 kilometer high orbit, the spacecraft will deploy its solar sail. Particles from the sun called photons will push on the sail, giving it momentum. Bill Nye, known on television as the science guy, is head of the Planetary Society. If we have a spacecraft that's low enough mass and big and reflective enough, then photons can give it a little push. Each photon imparts just a tiny bit of momentum, but the sun pumps out billions and billions of them every second. If it works, the solar photons will exert enough pressure on the sail to raise the spacecraft's orbit, making it the first to ever change orbit using only sunlight for propulsion. Scientists and engineers believe sailing on sunlight could one day eliminate the need for expensive and dangerous chemical rockets that eventually run out of fuel. And they say with the sun providing constant momentum, a solar sail spacecraft could fly at a speed of up to 240,000 kilometers per hour. You could fly around the solar system really fast and put it this way, never run out of gas. As the name implies, there was a Light Sail 1. It flew four years ago as a technology demonstration. This grainy video shows it streaking across the sky. Nearly a decade ago, the Japanese space agency successfully tested a solar sail in deep space. In a few years, NASA is planning to use a solar sail to explore a near-Earth asteroid. The future may well be sailing on sunbeams. John Zarella, CGTN, Cape Canaveral, Florida.